what's one good thing that happened today? I don't know. Anyways, I am getting a lot of comments regarding I was 18.5 bad battery life. People are not happy with the battery life. People are like going crazy because battery is going crazy. Well, being very honest, I tested out the beta 1 of 18.5, then beta 2, beta 3, beta 4, RC update, and right now I'm using I was 18.5 public release i haven't faced any sort of battery problem but after reading the comments i can see people are facing these problems so in this video i'm gonna share how the battery life is performing for me how i achieve that battery life so i'm gonna share how you can achieve this battery life so first thing first i'm gonna to show you some stats of my device so i will be into the battery section as you can see I am into the last 10 days. So for example, let's see today. I used more than 50% as you can see. It is slightly above than 50%. You can consider it 65%. And I got 7 hours plus screen on time, which is insane. And like I use Netflix, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp, X, Google Photos, Facebook, and some other applications as you can see. And if I go, maybe this day where I use almost 75%. And I got 7 hours and 41 minutes screen on time. Again, amazing. Use Instagram, TikTok, iMessage, Me Fitness, Photos, and some other applications as you can see. But everything is going really, really good. No battery issues at all. So how I achieve this battery life? How you can achieve this battery life? Let's begin this. First of all, what you can do is if you are someone who is using OLED iPhone, you can go with the dark uh, mode. Dark mode can help you a lot to save battery life. If you don't like dark mode at all, you can also automate your dark mode. So for that, get into the display and brightness over here and select the automatic one over here. And you can set up the time like in the morning, maybe you can use the light mode. In the evening, you can go for the dark mode. This way you can automate it and it could help a lot to save your battery life. If you are not into like using high brightness, which is a very good thing, low brightness can help to save a lot of battery life. Get into the accessibility, get into the display and text size, go all the way down, make sure auto brightness is on. And if you go one step further, you can turn on the reduce white point. It can also help a lot, a lot to save battery life. But again, it is your choice. If you want to use it, you can use it. Now, one thing that helps me a lot to save the battery life is everything over here in the privacy and security. Over here, there are a lot of things that you can turn off. There are a lot of things that are not that important, but they are on by default and they are consuming the battery life. For example, get into the privacy and security, get to the location services, go all the way down to the system services, go all the way down and there is a section or product improvement by default these settings are on but you don't need these settings at all so make sure to turn every other setting off like i did go back from here now if you notice something over here i don't have like my location always on there, there are a couple of options available for example there is maybe if i go over here there is never that there is ask next time or when i share there's while using the app and there is always by default, most of the apps choose this option. If you choose this option, you will be consuming a lot of battery life. Your device will be consuming a lot of battery life as it will like location will be on 24 hours. What you can do is you can select never option or while using the app. These two options are the best. Now go back from here and get into the notifications. Now whenever your device gives you a notification, now notification actually consume this from resources it is using your mobile data or wi-fi and some other resources in the background so what you can do is you can limit your notifications now as you can see i have most of the notifications for different apps are off for example over here if you see the last off discord off drive deliver quietly edits off facebook off you can also turn off the notifications that are not important and keep the notifications on that are critical. For example, fiber notifications are on. On the other hand, wallpaper app notifications are off. My Gmail notifications are on, but Google Photos notifications are off. You can customize like this. Try to, you know, turn off the notification 
uh, for most of the apps, it is also going to help a lot to save the battery pack. Now go back from here, go back into the privacy and security, get into tracking, turn this option off, it will turn every other off, it is also going to help a lot. This way you can also, you know, turn off the journal suggestions. If you don't journal at all, activity is consuming a lot of battery life in the background. Significant location is also consuming a lot of battery in the background. You can turn these options off and save a lot of battery life. So these are some of the things that you can do to improve the battery life of your iPhone running iOS 18.5. While there are more tips and tricks like you must be using original charger, you must be using good cables, you must be following 2080 rule. Like whenever you are near 20%, put your phone on charging and if you, when you are near 80%, unplug the charger. What you can also do is you can play a little bit with the battery settings over here into the battery section. So get into the battery section over here. If you have this graph like this one, you can choose 85, 80 or maybe 90. Never go beyond 90. 90 is the last one you can go. The best one I would say is the 80, but sometimes I choose 80 or 85 or 90. If you don't have this option over here, there will be another option known as optimize a battery charging. Turn that on. This is also going to help a lot to improve the battery health of your iPhone. It is going to stop the battery draining and you will be able to get good battery life. Well, these are some things that you can do and you will be able to get a much, much better battery life for your device. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.